here we'll just look at a couple of facts about the hat matrix. Uh, one of them, uh, I'm not overly sure about the use of it, but X is invariant when projected by this hat matrix. Um, let's check that. What we're saying, X is equal to X X T X inverse X transpose X and write that out. This is the hat matrix, this is X, and we can see instantly I have an X transpose X, an X transpose inverse, so X is X multiplied by an identity matrix which is equal to X. So we have we have the property that y hat is h multiplied by y. We have a property that x is the hat multiplied by x. And one of the other terms that we're interested in, uh, in regression, are the residuals. So let's have a quick look at the residuals. If we say the residuals are equal to y vector minus y hat and we've said that this is y minus hat y well that's a simple factorization identity matrix minus the hat multiplied by y so three parts of regression y hat is a projection of y using the hat matrix. X is invariant when projected by the hat matrix and the residuals can be got from the identity matrix minus the hat matrix multiplied by y. So we summarize these three points y hat is the hat multiplied by y, x is the hat multiplied by x, and the residuals are this identity matrix minus hat multiplied by y. So, and just to make a note that these are all vectors or matrices. So this hat matrix kind of going to find it comes up in a lot of places so the more comfortable we get with some of the properties the more we're going to be able to use these properties in understanding what's going on in regression and we're going to use a lot of this in regression diagnostics